Nine-bit armies. Is it worth a buy, is it? Let's read the words of the words. Of Petroglyph. Or Westwood. It's, it's Westwood. It's Westwood. It's Petroglyph, guys. Unleash voxel warfare in nine-bit armies a bit too far. Lead a modern military, build bases, unlock units, and attack in all-out war. Engage on land, sea, and air in over two dozen missions, online skirmishes, or co-op. Easy to learn, a challenge to master. You might remember, guys, that uh, I reviewed uh, a game similar to this, 8-bit armies. It was, it was a while ago, uh, when, I, when actually a long time ago. But a uh, great little game. And this is 9-bit armies, the sequel. And uh, as said in the words, this is um, from developers of the remnants of Westwood Studios. Remember them? Who made Cat Command and Conquer June 2? They were my favourite software company growing up. Um, they were just, like, awesome. And to think that I got an email off one of them saying that he watches him and his wife watch, watch my videos whilst they're having their, their dinner, I thought that was hilarious. I would, have never, I would have never have guessed that back in, oh, when was it, the 90s, if someone had said, Mac... The people who made this your favourite game, Command and Conquer in June 2, are going to be watching videos you're going to make in 20, 30 years' time whilst they're having their... Ah, let's get on with it. Anyway, 9-bit armies looks better. Um, definitely looks better than the 8-bit armies. It's not a massive upgrade, but it certainly looks better. It definitely plays better, and it is more fun. It is a definite good sequel to the, to the original. It has pretty much everything that you would want from a, an RTS in the sense of it's got a campaign, it's got skirmish, it's got online, and it's got co-op. I mean, what more do you want? It has a really good set of options, considering the price of the game. Uh, you can twiddle and tweak a lot of the graphical settings to get it to run right on your rig. It has some good music, decent audio settings, but most importantly, it has the control sets that you would expect to have all the kind of uh, controls you want in an RTS. And this is where a lot of games who do RTS feel miserably. They do not put the quick shortcut keys in, uh, and they certainly don't put the, the depth of them in that this game has. But obviously, these are kind of veterans at RTS uh, production, so you would expect that. And for £15, £16, I think that's what it is, £16, that's a steal. That's an absolute steal. And for that price, guys, you get a good sprinkling of units, a lot of diverse units. You've got your, your machine gunning and rocket launching guys. You would expect the infantry kind of guys. You've got light vehicles like APCs that'll scout ahead. Then you've got your standard tanks. Then you've got heavy tanks. You've got chain tanks. You've got artillery. You've got uh, bombers. You've got scout helicopters. You've got anti-vehicle um, helicopters. You've got shipyards. You've got battleships. You've got landing crafts. You've got uh, air carrying craft. You've got missiles uh, like nukes. You've got another ability that drops units behind enemy lines. Pretty much uh, infantry par parachutists. Uh, you just throw your infantry into this building and then after a certain amount of time you can drop them behind enemy lines it's great it's great fun so you've got everything you need to have some really good battles and what i really like about this game is the enemy the ai i put a, a skirmish map up this was my very first skirmish map i'd only played two of the campaign maps at the time and i thought i'll have a quick look at the skirmish so i put it on 3v3 all on uh, medium or normal whatever it is and within i don't know 15 20 minutes this happened. Rockets time to destroy. Crush yes. yes, the enemy came swarming over the northern bridge um, in numbers that I was just like, oh my goodness, I didn't expect this. And I got steamrolled. So um, I kind of, you know, realized that the enemy are serious about this game. <laughs> the enemy, they're not just going to sit back. In a lot of RTS games, you'll get attacked by... A handful of units maybe 15 tops and here in this game they'll they'll, they'll throw 30 40 units at you it's crazy and that's just on the pretty much normal middle uh difficulty it goes all the way up to insane difficulty i haven't tried that yet but um it's it's crazy you got base defenses i like to take me time and turtle a little bit and then hit them with huge armies that's the way i play these games and um you can still do that your base gets hammered but you can hold out and it is great fun. Um, I did get it, it runs in DirectX 11 or 12. I was getting some pretty hefty frame drops in DirectX 12. So um, 11 is pretty much what I'll It was pretty much okay in 11, but on 12, it was just oof. The campaign itself, well, I'm, I'm, I haven't finished it yet. I'm only on, I think, mission four or five. I think five it is. And uh, really fun missions. Uh, the only problem I've got with them is I don't like the timing. You're, you're, you're timed. You're not timed to complete the mission yet. But you are, but I have a feeling that's coming. But you are timed on certain aspects that you have to complete. 
within the mission to get some rewards. And it's not my style. I don't like being um, pressured and told that I have to do something in the first 15 minutes. I prefer to just take my time and do them my way. So I'm not really fussed about completing any of the bonuses to get any of the, the prizes for that. Um, I'm just, I just kind of do them your own time. And so far, I'm, I'm able to do that. Co-op is where I'm going to be really enjoying this. Co-op against AIs. I always love that mode. And this has that mode. And honestly, it has some really fun maps. Uh, more maps are required. Of course, you can never have enough maps for these. But this game also has Steam Workshop. I already downloaded a mod which allows me to slow the game down. Because in certain circumstances, when you're playing 3v3, you might want to just keep the game running, but just slow it down. So you can see the battlefield, see what's going on, see if you need to divert units anywhere and things like that. I'm surprised the game didn't have that as a standalone, but it just doesn't. But there's a mod that actually gives that, so that's great. So there you go, guys. 9-bit army a bit too far is definitely worth a buy. Obviously can't wait till there's more maps coming in. I can't wait to play it co-op. I got some very good Red Alert uh, vibes. It plays pretty much like Red Alert. Really good fun. Definitely worth it. It's 16 quid.